Hey guys, thank you to TCTN. I did two separate eye looks with the Pat McGrath Subversive Mothership 3 palette. So that's what this is. I did two separate looks from Chris Loves Lux. So I duplicated two of her looks. And so this is one, which I do like. This is the other one, which I like as well. This video is not about that though. This video <laughs> is about the Pat McGrath that's a long title, Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Palette. I purchased this palette and I was motivated to just go ahead and dig into it because I don't mind metallic shades. I don't. I didn't mind that this palette only has three mattes in it because I have other matte palettes I can use to supplement this one. So that didn't bother me. And I thought it was a good price to try a lot of her shades. I will post pictures here in the video of the looks that I did with this palette and I'm torn on it because I'm lazy. I want to put my brush in it. I want to put it on. I want it to look nice. I don't want glitter all over my face and all over my station. And some of the looks I did, I recreated looks from other people. I looked up videos on YouTube, excuse me. Some of the looks I did, I really liked. And then some of them I was like, eh, and then some was like, no. I mean, not for me. It looked nice on that person. Um... What I did not like is the glitter everywhere. And even when I used my finger for someone, which I don't like using my finger for makeup, I don't want to have to wet my brush. I'm lazy. I want to put the brush in and put it on and it just worked. Um, and using a flat angle brush does usually help alleviate some of the fallout. It didn't. It did a little bit. But even using my finger, there was still fallout. There was fallout all over my station. My brush roll, because I was away when I used the palette, so I took my travel brush roll, put brushes in it. Even that which was sitting off on the side, I picked it up later. It had glitter on it. After washing my face, afterward, after washing my face, later on, I'm still seeing glitter on my face. There was still glitter on my hands. And I'm just like, this is just everywhere. And I don't like that. I feel like a brat now. I don't like glitter everywhere. <laughs> and the thing that annoyed me was that it was so hard to get off. Like, why after washing my face twice, I still have glitter on my face? Why after washing my hands numerous times, I look down later on and there's specks of glitter on my hands? And it was just, I was just irritated by that. And also, glitter got in my eyes. Thankfully, I didn't have my contacts in at the time, but it just made my eyes tear and tear, and my eyes were itchy, like even until the next day, and I was just like, I cannot. <laughs> Beautiful palette. If you don't have problems with glitter shades, if you don't mind using your finger, if you don't mind wetting your brush if you don't mind doing your eye makeup first before your base face i do recommend this palette i do my issue with doing my eyes first is that whether i use micellar water or makeup remover wipes i still need to wash that off because my skin is so sensitive and temperamental so for me to just clean up with micellar water and then do my base face that's going to irritate my under eye area and my whole face, actually, because the glitter was even, like, down my cheeks and, like, here. It was just everywhere. And I was very careful and slow doing those looks. Um, excuse me for that. And if I use a makeup remover wipe, even the ones that say, you know, no need to rinse, I still need to rinse that off. And so it's not feasible for me <laughs> to do my eyes first and then use Marcella water or makeup remover wipe and then try to figure out how to wash that off without messing up all of this up here. And so if you guys know how to do that, let me know how to do that. <laughs> but as for right now, it just doesn't make sense. Um, and so I, 
And I know people love Pat McGrath. I know y'all do. And I know, you, and I'm imagining some of you will come for me, and that's fine. Everything does not work for everybody. And we have, you know, different issues. You know, me with sensitive skin, temperamental skin, sensitive eyes, you know, glitter and stuff getting in my eyes. And the reasons I just stated on why I do my base face first. Um, so these are just some of the issues that I had with this palette. And again, I did like the looks that I used. And again, this is not this palette on my eyes. On my eyes is the Mothership Number no. 3 Subversive Palette. <sighs> So let me know if you guys had issues with this. <laughs> like, does glitter in your eyes bother you? You know, are you able just to use micellar water and clean up and then just do your base face after you do your eyes? Um, let me know if you're lazy like me and you don't want to wet your brush and you don't want to use your finger. You just want to put a brush in it dry and just put it on your lid and it work. you know, as long as you have on a good primer, which I do always prime my eyes. So those are the questions. Those are my issues. That's my review on this palette. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to leave that there, <laughs> and, and you will see me in the next video. Thanks, guys.